Hi, Trent Data with GPS Dairy Consulting, here for your halftime corn silage quality pep talk. So when we talk about corn silage quality, we often talk about it in two different times of the year. Once at the beginning of the growing season, or a little bit before when we're talking about our nutrient management plan, what crops we're gonna plant where, uh, what varieties we're gonna plant, you know, all those types of pre-planning things. And then we talk about corn silage quality at the end of the season. Uh, once it's time to start harvesting or once we're done harvesting, did we meet all of our quality goals? What could we have done different? What could we have done better? But today is half time. So today we're gonna to talk about what happened in the first half of the corn silage quality game and what can we still do in the second half to make sure that we hit our goals. So I am uh, not by any means a sports expert. You know, in my high school football days, we won a grand total of zero games. So don't rely on my coaching expertise, but uh, there are probably a few things that we can uh, discuss in terms of corn silage quality. So when we think to the first half of the growing season, uh, there are a few things that we can consider and reflect upon. Uh, the first of which uh, would be what happened at the very beginning of our growing season in terms of uh, planting and germination. So depending on which part of the world or Midwest you're in, uh, there's been the whole gamut of terms of uh, germination um, and scenarios that, that came about. So for a large part of the Midwest and in Wisconsin where I spent a lot of my time, it was actually a pretty wet and cool spring um, all the way up until till planting and then mother nature decided to turn the water off um, and we went through a long dry spell. Uh, so this led to a, a couple different scenarios. Uh, some uh, germination was poor because of, of wet soil or, or wet spots you couldn't get around. Um, and then the dr long dry spell actually created so uh, certain types of scenarios, planting into cover crops or not killing or crimping cover crops early enough, led to some actually really poor germination and variable stands. Um, and since uh, this time, uh, the weather has been very sporadic, long stretches of dry weather followed by uh, heavy sporadic rainfalls. Uh, so this can lead to some drought stressed corn. There's lots of variable corn out there. Uh, so these are things to keep note of as we start planning for our second half uh, game plan. Uh, so now that we're through uh, the first part of the growing season, uh, everyone's likely done spraying, side dressing, and today I'm actually recording on the 4th of July, so this corn behind me uh, should be uh, knee high, but head high. Uh, again, a good uh, reminder that today's genetics are probably better than back when that saying was created. But anyway, now that we're at halftime, we can use what we had in that first half to plan for the second half of the season. So there were really two uh, major components that we can still impact in terms of corn silage quality in this second half of the game. Uh, the first of which would be continued uh, disease resistance or mitigation. And when I say this, I, I'm largely uh, meaning uh, fungal growth, infections, and fungicide application. So those things that I mentioned in terms of weather, rain, drought stress, items like that that happen in the first half of the game have a huge impact on the prevalence and severity of these fungal diseases um, that can impact the corn later in the season. So a couple of the main ones would be uh, tar spot, which is getting a lot of press here the last few years in gibberellum. And from the nutritionist point of view, these types of diseases have a big impact on those mycotoxin levels that if not controlled here during the growing season, can have a huge impact on feed costs and cow health and performance later on down the line. So right now is the perfect time to make that game plan around uh, fungicide use and application with your agronomist and nutritionist to determine uh, what type of fungicides might be applicable um, and when we should be applying them. So again, uh, not necessarily an agronomist here, but uh, especially if we are anticipating uh, warm and hot weather or we're, we continue to have these very large uh, rainfalls that continue to keep uh, the undergrowth of the corn here uh, wet. Fungicides will definitely have to be uh, part of our management practices to control these uh, fungal diseases. So outside of uh, fungicides, uh, fungal management, the second part of this second half preparation needs to be all about early planning for corn silage harvest. Uh, so there's uh, no better time than now to start talking with either your own personal harvest team or that custom harvester around things that we might need to be uh, keeping in mind and changing in terms of our harvest schedule, our harvest plan, 
uh, things like that. So common ones are perhaps we have a lot of fields that are further away from the farm and we need to find you know, a few more trucks this year than we did in years past to make sure that we can bring in that corn silage quick enough. Um, other things would be if you know acres number acreage number changed or if we have different varieties if we have more BMR than conventionals if yields look different you know all these help uh, plan you know how many choppers are needed how many trucks how many hours how many people I mean it just makes us much more prepared so, so when it comes to game time that we're not having to make game time decisions so half time here in the corn silage growing season so use this time to reflect on what happened in the early season the first half in terms of uh, weather or management practices that we should take note to change and how can we use these items here in the second half of the game to continue to make sure that we have a uh, high quality corn silage for our cows here later on this year so happy fourth of july beautiful weather uh, go out there have a great second half thanks guys